Every single tenant in this building is a Section 8 tenant, right? We are getting government guaranteed rents, and they are very, very high. Five thousand three hundred dollars. We good? Do I pass or what? Do I, you know, do I yep, you pass. You get a gold. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You have a good one now. The most recent of those tenants is the tenant we got in there at 1100 right? Rents have been going up. Damn, dude, this basement smells good too. Apex Legends got an update? Yeah. What? That's not going to take much time that you work. Hold on, time out. Got a little smugma on my glasses here. Got a little smugma! Smugma! Yeah, this is super quick. They just do like every angle of the I like room. That camera, man. Where did you get that from? Uh, the office. Don't be the guy who's like, I'd like to offer $250,000. Well, that's cool, Kyle. I'm glad you want to pay $250,000 for this building. You know what I'd like to do, Kyle? I'd like to f your wife. How about that? What's up, Kyle? You want some of this? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. One, two, three. Folks, when I talk to you, when I talk to you guys about Section 8, Section 8 actually being awesome, uh, I feel like there's some investors who are like, I don't know, man. You guys show a lot of wild stuff on the Tenants from Hell show, and I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared of Section 8, right? I feel like there's people out there that do that, right? Well, the first thing I want to mention, the first thing I want to tell you guys is, folks, what you need to understand about the Tenants from Hell show is you really need to go back and understand what Holton Wise does in the marketplace, right? Do you guys really think that Holton Wise would be as successful as it is if every single one of those evictions and all the bad stuff you see it was what was like happening to Holton Wise, like after Holton Wise managed the property for a very long period of time? Like if the majority of all that bad stuff was tenants that we were placing in those units, folks, would we be the number one show in town? Would we be the number one gig? Would we be the guys who did over $200 million worth of transactions? No, probably not. What you guys need to understand is how does Holton Wise come to acquire properties, folks? Sellers, people that own properties that don't have the, the team and the experience and the know-withal, the wherewithal, all the, 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 the infrastructure that Holton Wise has... Those people come to Holton Wise, folks, to help get them out of a jam, whether that jam being having Holton Wise sell their distressed asset to a new investor and then have Holton Wise be the manager and, and, and write the ship for that new investor, or whether that be a, a person who owns a property, was trying to manage to themselves, it wasn't working, and then they bring that problem to Holton Wise. Folks, that's what we do. We solve these problems, right? So the majority of stuff that you guys see on that show uh, is, is problems that existed because uh, the owner of the property did not have the setup that Holton Wise has and, and what you're watching essentially is Holton Wise taking over that problem and then solving that problem, folks, right? If you go to your local pizza shop before the food is ordered, you know what you got? You got a lot of hungry people in there, right? Why? Because the pizza shop solves the problem of hunger. By the time they leave, they ain't hungry anymore, right? But if you set it up shop and you interview every customer that walks in there before they get their dinner, they're all hungry. And then you might be like, why is there so many hungry people in this pizza shop, right? Same scenario, right? Holton Wise's job in the marketplace is to solve these problems. And once you solve those problems, folks, you could then really cash in on that Section 8 gravy train. And today is a beautiful example of what that looks like. When Holton Wise gets in to a property and has some time to write the ship, has some time to put things together, you get 9,000 Denison Avenue, Cleveland, priced at 374000 $900, folks. Look at that rent roll. Every single tenant in this building is a Section 8 tenant, right? We are getting government-guaranteed rents, and they are very, very high. 5000 
$300 currently coming in. And over the course of managing this building for the last, I think it was like three, four, five years, something like that, uh, we placed these tenants all obviously at various times, right? The most recent of those tenants is the tenant we got in there at 1100 right? Rents have been going up, okay? And as we make the building nicer, right? If you have a five-unit building and you got four, like, just hood rat type old school crummy crappy tenants uh, from previous owners who didn't understand how to manage the building properly, right? Getting that fifth tenant to pay market rent, pay a premium is going to be more difficult, right? As the tide rises, all the ships rise, folks. So currently right now, as it's optimally running, honestly, like 1100 is probably market rent. So every tenant who ain't paying 1100 right now, uh, once their leases... Uh, get to the point where they're about to expire, everybody's getting moved up to the 1100 rate, right? We do 12-month leases here at Holton Wise, and then we just renew them, right? We only do 12-month leases, right? We renew them every 12 months. We don't do two-year, three-year, four-year, five-year leases. That's not good. You don't want to get yourself involved in that. There's actually uh, very differing laws in regards to the paperwork you actually need to do in the state of Ohio if you do a lease that's longer uh, than one year. So that's a nice like pro tip for you guys because I see a lot of landlords out there on the Facebook, in the Twitter, in the bigger pockets. Y'all be talking about like, oh, I like to do long leases because I don't, I'm a fucking jackass. I don't know why you guys like to do them. Mostly because you have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Uh, but I never ever see anybody uh, discussing the additional disclosures and paperwork and agency paperwork that you need to actually supply to your tenants when you start doing these longer leases. Nobody has any idea how to do that, right? So uh, you're much better protected as a landlord if you keep your leases to 12 months or less, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could do month to month, I suppose, but I, I find 12 months, no more, no less, folks. That's that's where the money is to be made, right? Take that as a nice little pro tip from a cat that's done $200 million in this market. So back to the property, though, right? $5,300 a month in government guaranteed rent, folks. This is what you want. All these tenants have been screened by Holton Wise, placed in here. We're getting mad money. It's government guaranteed. So uh, I don't anticipate seeing these particular tenants on the Tenants from Hell show anytime soon. Is it possible? Yes, of course it is. I told you guys the majority of what you see on that Tenants from Hell show is inherited problems, but that doesn't mean uh, that every once in a while you do have a one-off. That would be crazy if I told you 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 would never get a one-off when Holton Wise screens the tenant. Uh, it is still like a like a lower-end C-grade neighborhood, so that risk is going to come with the territory. But I like to feel uh, like we do a very good job of screening out uh, the most egregious issues, and we do have a very good solid track record uh, based upon the level of risk we're dealing with when we deal with these properties. And this property is freaking nice, man. Uh, most all of the furnaces you see in this building are going to be five years or newer like there i think there might be like one or two uh that was existing before holton wise took it over so like you might have one or two that's like 15 or 20 years old uh but the majority under five years old same thing with the water tanks if you're curious furnaces last around 30 years they usually cost about 3500 to replace hot water tanks typically last about 15 years they like cost like right now obviously prices have been going up on everything uh they're like i think like 12 or 1300 uh out the door is what we can get one installed for you guys for right now um the roof you got to understand how these roofs are this is like a Incredibly old roof. It's a little bit different than like those shingle roofs you guys see on your, your homes and your duplexes, right? You got the roofs where they're like a nice little triangle. You got all the shingles. You got to replace those every 30 years, right? These like flat rubber roofs, essentially what it is is like you, you put it on and then you're like maintaining it, putting layers on layers on layers on layers on layers on top of it. So the roof is in spick and span condition, but I don't know uh, the exact age. Uh, of which it was like totally, totally like taken all the way down and completely replaced. I know for a fact that hasn't happened in at least the last 15 years, but it's been getting, uh, you know, service 
uh, pretty frequently. So the roof should be in tip-top condition. If you have any further questions about what shape that roof is in, obviously we do our best to give you as much info. You get to see the nice drone footage of it. But, I mean, feel free when you do your due diligence uh, and you have your inspector inspect the property, feel free uh, to have them inspect the roof, hire a roofing company to inspect the roof. Absolutely. I want to give you guys all the information you possibly can because – this thing's a banger, and I stand behind this. And this thing priced at three seventy four nine, folks. This is a deal, man. This is this is what you want. The person we actually turned this over for, uh, unfortunately for that person. Uh, he's actually was a little bummed that he had to actually sell this asset. He wanted to maintain this asset for quite a while, uh, but unfortunately for him, this is an out-of-country investor, actually. His particular job uh, was outsourced uh, at his company, so he is in need of a cash transfusion to keep things going uh, to get him set up until he gets a new career, right? So that's what's nice about these real estate investments, y'all. It's a great place to store your money, and when it comes down to it, if you ever need to go into the piggy bank and grab a bunch you always can right that's why it's always good to have these assets around right so the property itself is legit man i i can't really uh name too many issues with it as you seen from the footage the interiors all look pretty decent it's already lead certified we already went through that process so we got you five units paying market or near market rent all lead certified all with fairly new mechanicals all ready to rock and roll the only thing for you guys to do I guess it would be to fight amongst yourselves uh, to be the one who actually gets lucky enough to buy this sucker, right? So you can send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Now, I fully anticipate having multiple offers on this, right? So make it easy on me. Make it easy on yourself. Don't be the guy that sends me some email that's like completely misspelled. You don't have the address in the subject line. You're not giving me any details like, oh, God, I'm, I'm, I like the building. All right, bro, I sell $200 million worth of buildings. I sell like thousands of buildings. Like what fucking building, bro? Like don't just send me an email like, oh, I liked your building. I saw your video. That's great, bro. We got thousands of videos, right? So, like, if you're actually serious about buying it, take, like, five minutes and, and set yourself up with a reasonable email. Like, go ahead and put the address of the property, 9000 Denison. Watch, go ahead and put that in the subject line so I know what the fuck you're talking about, right? And then in that email, go ahead and say, hey, man, I'd like to buy 9000 Denison. I'd like to offer X, and I suggest X be at least 374.9, right? Don't be the guy who's like, I'd like to offer $250,000. Well, that's cool, Kyle. I'm glad you want to pay $250,000 for this building. You know what I'd like to do, Kyle? I'd like to fuck your wife. How about that? What's up, Kyle? You want some of this? Wow, I got really heated. We might need to cut that out. <sighs> anyway, moral of the story is... <laughs> no, was that too intense? That was hilarious. Was that too intense? Was that too intense for the video? I don't think so. All right. All right, Tyler approves. Tyler says it's good, so we're just gonna go ahead and keep that in there. But the moral of the story is, look, only one investor can buy this building. There's gonna be a lot more of you that want to buy it. So quit dicking around. Don't waste my time. Put the address in the subject line. Hey, man. Good looking building. I'd like to buy 9,000 Denison. 9,000 Denison offer. I'd like to pay 374.9 or higher. I know you're going to have multiple offers. I'd like to pay cash. If I'm paying cash, here's a screenshot of my bank account. Go ahead and black out your account numbers because obviously you don't need to be sending that kind of stuff, you know, in the interwebs. Uh, but just so we see that your name is on there and that you got the 374.9, right? Don't don't tell us you want to pay cash, but then you send me proof of funds with like 200000 That wouldn't make any sense. How are you going to come up with the other 175, right? We need to know you're a ready, willing, and able buyer, right? So uh, cash offers need to include the proof of funds. Financed offers, folks, that's going to need to include a pre-approval from your lender. If you need lenders, I have lenders for you. Uh, if you're a newer investor out there and you're unfamiliar with how financing in uh, the multifamily space works, just so you're aware, this is a five unit building. Uh, so you're gonna require commercial financing. You're not able to utilize 30 year residential financing, right? So because of that, I do feel like a lot of the buyers out there are gonna be competing uh, with cash offers because I think we're gonna see a lot of those cash offers. So at any rate, you can send all of those offers to my team at sales at holtonweiss.com. 100% occupied here, so we're not gonna be doing showings. Like you got Kyle out there like, come on, man. 
250 grand. But I'll tell you what, just uh, let me make sure I walk the building first, right? And then you try to walk the building and like disturb and bother our tenants. Then to old, then and after that is usually when the 250 offer comes. And then I got to tell you, I want to fuck your wife. And then Kyler, Tyler's got to look at me back there like, damn, dude, I'm very confused right now. Thought we were trying to film a marketing video for a real estate property. And this dude's out here fucking an imaginary guy named Kyle's wife. This is so crazy. I don't even know what's happening right now. Like the whole thing just spirals out of control. And we're not going to be doing any of that, right? So uh, we're only going to be dealing with serious buyers and after we get your offer, after we see your proof of funds, after you go under contract with the seller, then and only then uh, will we open up the property for inspections and appraisals because it's all about transparency, folks. We are going to give you all the information. It's just going to happen at the appropriate time because we need to be efficient and we can't just be bothering these tenants, right? We can't just like ruin their lives and upend them all day every day. They're trying to sit at home, watch Dora the Explorer with their children, and we got some jerk off named Kyle who wants to come into their apartment only to later then offer us 250 k and then I have to aggressively yell at him, right? So like... We, we don't do that, folks. We ain't rookies. This ain't our first rodeo, so to speak, right? And if it's not your first rodeo, you probably are already aware that this building sells itself because it's awesome. I mean, in addition to the rent roll, to already being uh, Section 8, fully market rents on every unit, more or less, less about 200 bucks total for the month, uh, the units being renovated, having newer mechanicals. You'll also notice they're laid out in the townhome style too, right? Which is quite nice because that's how you get tenants who pay premiums, which you can see with the rent roll. They also tend to stay longer, which means you don't have to spend money on turnovers as frequently, right? The reason they stay longer is because these up-down units, they're bigger, they're more spacious, they feel more or less like single family homes and all of these tenants have their very own private basements right common laundry dude is terrible right common laundry if you could avoid it it's best right it's hard to avoid it in the cleveland market because like 98 95 percent of the multifamily units uh, in this entire market are going to have common laundry and it doesn't happen every day but that does lead to issues right we have tenants fighting it's it's been as extreme as tenants fighting because like creepy guy in one unit steals lovely young ladies underwear in another unit like that that has happened several times but that's like not the most common uh but like more common issues would be like tenant a leaves all their crap in the dryer tenant B is all pissed off at them. They fight or people leave their soap down there and then people steal their soap or people claim they put their kids' bikes down there and then the bikes get stolen. Just shit like that, right? It's like a nonstop, uh, you know, issue fest, right? And if the, all those issues are occurring and the tenants are fighting amongst each other and they're getting mad at each other, grudges start to occur and then you get people set up where they're no longer happy living there and then when their leases expire, instead of renewing the lease with a rental increase, oftentimes they're like, screw it, I can't stand Dave down the street. He's a horrible human being. I'm moving out because I hate that son of a bitch, right? We get that a lot, right? So as an investor, as an owner, uh, you'll see the uptick, okay, in turnover costs for you over the course of your ownership, right? So when you have the opportunity to buy a building like this, which just like eliminates the majority of those problems, it just equals more green in your pocket, which again is why multiple offers are expected, which is why we don't need any assholes like Kyle wasting my time sending me stupid offers. So legitimate offers, send those suckers to sales at holtonwise.com. Let's go. Alright ladies, I'll let the pop in the kitchen real quick if you don't want to be oh, okay. on, I'll, uh, I'll wait for you to pass me and I'll just film over here. Are you ready? Oh, I mean you, you can pop it if you want. No, no, no. Alright. And I'll stop the camera here. Fuck you. We good? Do I pass or what? Do I get up my car? Yep, you pass. You get a gold You're good. Star. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. You have a good one now. You want to get a special or just me? No, it's like we got to do a couple more. Not over here? Yeah, we're doing a couple more. I don't think we're doing two. I know. Hold on, time out. 
Got a little smudge on my glasses here. Got a little smugma! Smugma! I'm gonna do a Superman spin here. There we go. All right, we should be done real quick. All right. No, big changes down here since the last time I was here. Those are rules to live by. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> That's what I told that lady. I know. I haven't checked any of the comments. Oh, man, can you see if she. <laughs> there you go. Ah. How you doing, man? Yeah. I was like, I hope he's home. I haven't seen him in a while. Right. <laughs> you're good. But you're a star. <laughs> Yeah, this is super quick. They just do like every angle of the I like room. Camera, man. Where did you get that from? Uh, <laughs> the office. <laughs> well, no, I think they ordered it on Amazon. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Because yeah, when we needed a new gimbal, because our old one broke, they got it from Amazon. Okay. Apex Legends got an update? Yeah. What? That's what I was going to tell you, but I know you're working. Yeah, yeah I'm downloading it right now. So that's, that's a new season. I think this season, like, 44 gigabytes? Yeah. I ain't got room for that. It looks like I ain't playing. <laughs> I ain't playing no more. Did they add anything good in this season, do you know, or no? I'm not sure. I know it's a new character, and then they said like, they updated like the weapon and the shooting right, so I'm just trying to see what they did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wish they would let you, like, halfway through the download, like, play in, like, an arena with a phone yeah. or something. Yeah, so you could get, like, the layout. Damn, dude, this basement smells good, too. What, what the heck's going on? Is that your room, you Yeah, it's a tight squeeze. Oh. Uh, and I'll just do like a quick general yeah, yeah. general layout basement. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful basement. Yeah. Typical. Whoa, we got four washers and dryers. Oh, shit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.